Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we're going to be continuing the Halloween accordion book and I'm going to reinforce the folds. I noticed that they were cracking while I didn't even open them a lot. So um, yeah, I decided to reinforce them using the scraps from the papers that we used before. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to tear off the edges and then distress them and then simply glue them on. The only thing that I thought would be handy to do is make a score line in the middle of the scraps so that it would be easier to follow the previous folds underneath. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I would very much appreciate it if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider to do so because it really helps my channel grow. And if you don't want to miss any uploads, you can also choose to turn on the notification bell so that you get a notification and you will never miss any of my uploads. And if you are a regular to my channel, welcome back. And I really hope that you are enjoying this new series. I'm then going over the folds with my bone folder to make sure that they are uh, a bit thinner because this really bulks up the project um, but yeah when you use your bone folder and really burnish the folds you will be fine I'm then going to use these two images from stamps I have received these last year or well not last year I believe early 2024 uh, from a, a swap that I did and uh, the lady gave me all sorts of stamped images from stamps that I didn't have and I'm going to use these because these are perfect for Halloween. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide in Ground Espresso to color the um, images a bit and then make them a bit more grungy and I'm also going to do some spattering on top of that. I'm going to attach the two pieces together with a tiny bit of washi tape on the back and then I'm going to sew them together with my sewing machine. I'm going to add some mummy cloth with which I also colored with my oxide sprays. I'm going to glue it down with some art glitter glue and then above I'm going to add the uh, image. I want to add a bit more interest so I'm going to use some leftover scraps and I'm going to place them behind to add some layering.
then going to add some details and I've chosen a few items that I want to use. These are all Tim Holtz ephemera. And to this label I want to add one of the Halloween stickers from the sticker book. Also, if you have not seen the previous video where I make the base and the cover, uh, you can do so via the link in the description down below. I also will make a playlist which is called Halloween and I will add all the Halloween videos from this year. Uh, I will add them each time I upload. I then want to do some stamping in the right top corner because it felt a bit empty. Then going to start working on the next page. But before I do, I want to decorate the pieces on, yeah, like the fold areas, if that makes sense. So I'm going to glue down this label that says poison. And I'm going to add a bit of scraps to add some layering again. I then want to add a bit of stamping and this stamp is actually not Tim Holtz. This is one from um, Sam Poole. Then going to start working on the vocal point for the next page. Uh, or actually a sort of like a journal card. This is what's going inside the pocket. I'm going to back this piece of ephemera with some of the Tim Holtz Halloween backdrops.
and I'm then going to roughen up the edges quite a bit with my sanding this and this dress tool on both sides of the um, papers and then I'm going to do some heavy inking Then I'm going to add one of the transparencies from the new Tim Holtz collection for Halloween. At first I wanted to use the spider webs, but I thought the image would disappear too much. And then I decided to use these, uh, this one instead. And I really liked the fact that the hole is precisely over the eye. I really like how this looks and then I'm going to add a few drops of my art glitter glue to keep it in place and then sew around all the edges. I'm then going to add some alcohol ink. Now, I didn't really get the effect on the front that I thought I would. It's fine, it doesn't turn out ugly or anything. Uh, but on the back side, I um, added also the ink, but also some normal distress ink. And um, it turned out some sort of like a dark reddish orangey color. I'm then going to add a tiny bit of color to this paper doll and I want it to be matte so I'm going to uh, dab some collage medium on top. I then want to roughen it up a bit by tearing off the bottom. I'm then going to add some more details by adding more pieces of ephemera. I'm then going to add some more of the mummy cloth underneath the uh, paper doll.
I don't want to add this mod and this one is shiny as well and I'm also going to matte this out with a thin layer of collage medium. I'm then going to work on the other inside of the back cover and I want to use this image but it's just a bit too bright for my taste. So I'm going to use some coffee stained or tea stained um, tea bags. But first I decide that I want a frame. This frame is just a bit too small so I decide to make my own These are very easy. You just make a border as wide as you want. I'm going for one and a half centimeters. I don't know exactly how many inches that is. I think it's like about one inch. And I'm then going to cut out the frame and I'm going to use my scraps to um, glue them on top of the frame and then do some stitching. Simply going to put down the glue and put the paper on top and then cut off the excess. then going to roughen up the edges with my sanding tool and do the inking as well. And lastly, I want to add some spattering. And here is where I'm going to put the tea stained tea bags on top. I grabbed a few because I might need some more later on. And I'm then going to add some collage medium and then put the tea bag on top and put another layer of the collage medium on top of that.
I'm then going to send off the excess. You can also use your scissors and simply cut it off. I'm then going to do the same thing as I did on the first page that we made today. And I thought I was going to use the same exact thing. I'm going to use the shattered window and make sure that the hole covers one of the eyes. Or falls over the eyes, it's not actually covering anything <laughs> because it's a hole. I'm then going to add some embellishments here and there. I'm going to distress the frame a bit more by adding some distress ink, adding some water and then uh, dapping off the excess with a paper towel. And I'm going to do this on a few spaces or spots on the frame. And that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this part two. I want to thank you all for watching and have a nice day wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!